They asked Michelangelo, how did you make the statue of David? And Michelangelo said, I never made the statue of David. I just chipped away everything that wasn't David, and there he was. And that's the process of four through nine. You tell a little kid, go in your room and straighten out your room. He doesn't want to do that. You tell that same little kid, I want you to go in your room and throw out all your old stuff and we'll buy you new stuff. How long would that take? If you're stuck in inventory and you haven't done this process, why rob yourself? Yes. Those old ideas for me had to be broken. You know, coming to believe and taking actions and being rid of those things in me that were blocking me. Because I lived with resentment all my life. Resentment in Latin means to refeel. I take an event from my past, I refeel it, I relive it, and I reenact it in every aspect of my life. My life is like Groundhog Day. The problem with resentment is what we do with it as addicts. As an addict, I take poison and I hope you die. See, a normal person is intellect over emotion. As an addict, I'm emotion over intellect. And unless I can have an entire psychic change in that area, I cannot be free. My sponsor said, what do you want from Narcotics Anonymous? And I said, you know, I grew up in Malibu. I want a yacht and a Learjet. And you know what he said to me? He said, if you work steps four through nine and you consistently live in 10, 11, and 12, what you'll get is a quiet mind and a loving heart. And I looked at him and I said, what do I want that for? You know, but if you've been separated from narcotics for a while, you guys know what the opposite of a quiet mind is. It's a mind that won't shut up. It's a mind that's up at three in the morning telling you you're a loser. You're fat. You know that job you got? They're going to do the background check on you. You know, the opposite of a loving heart is a vindictive heart. It's a prejudiced heart. It's a resentful heart. And all of my life, I was crucified between two thieves yesterday and tomorrow. And yesterday I have guilt, shame, and remorse. And tomorrow I have fear, anxiety, and worry. And our spirits are very much like a body of water. When they're perfectly still, they best reflect the heavens. Now, I know how to get there with a bag of dope. But unless I can find that sense of freedom and ease that I found in narcotics through this process, I won't stay here. 